Texas is perceived quite widely in this country as, as uh, a rather harsh proposition with very hard edges that all we're interested in is making money. That, that's, I think, a very flawed view of business, but nonetheless it is a view. And one of the things that arts has the possibility of doing for us is to bring a far softer edge to, to the understanding of our business. Lots of businesses are struggling at the moment. The smart businesses, I would suggest, are those who invest during the, the difficult times, during the bad times, because they'll be ready to roll when the good times come along. One of the things, therefore, that I think is incumbent on the arts community is to keep coming back to the, their business partners with something new, something exciting, but above all, something that they believe will appeal to the particular audience that the, the business is trying to get through to. What's really important to us is that we work on projects that bring the city to life. Um, we're all about making sure that Manchester and the other areas where we operate has a thriving arts and cultural scene. And so we're looking for projects that help attract people to the city and also help give the people who already live and work there something that's really exciting and visionary to go and watch and see. I think the opportunity for interacting with uh, existing and potential donors and audience members is enormous. Um, we have to communicate with people in the way that they expect to be communicated, not the way that we want to do it because it's convenient for us. The most important thing to take away today is, well, for me, it was about communication and always keeping up communication, particularly the point made by Martin from the Tate about always picking up the phone rather than just sending out direct mail. I think it's such an important message to take away that actually it's a conversation, it's a relationship, and as soon as you can get that conversation going, you'll read the rules.